In this video, we'll factor the equation x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And we'll use these guidelines here to help us. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set up our skeleton equation. That'll look like this here. So we have this skeleton equation. Now we want to figure out the signs that go in our skeleton equation. If we have a negative here on the middle term, and this last term is positive, so if the center term is negative, we're going to have negative negative right here in our skeleton equation. So once we have these signs, we can find the factors for the last term, that's the 2, and they should equal the middle term. So for 2, we could have 1 times 2, and that's it. Those are the factors. So it really doesn't matter if we put a 1 and a 2 here. That should work. Negative 2 and negative 1, add those together, you get negative 3. But we should check our work with the FOIL method. That'll look like this. So we multiply the first terms, the outside terms, the inside terms, and then the last terms. And we get x squared minus 2x minus 1. But we can add these together here. That'll give us minus 3x. And then we have our 2. So x squared minus 3x plus 2, that's the same thing as up here. So we know we've done this correctly. Let's quickly find the values for x that'll make this statement 0. So we could say x minus 1 equals 0, so x will equal 1. And if we put 1 in for x, we do the math here, all of this is going to equal 0. Likewise, we could say x minus 2 equals 0, so x will equal a positive 2. And if we put 2 in for x, 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2, that'll equal 0. So we've correctly factored x squared minus 3x plus 2. If you use the quadratic equation, you would also get these answers. Just a different way to do it. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Thanks for watching.